Now let's talk about the German Bundesliga. They will go back behind playing uh, behind closed doors from the 2nd of November for the rest of the month as the country's government combats the second wave of the coronavirus pandemic with several restrictions to public life. Now restrictions will not come coming until Monday, and that means this weekend's Bundesliga fixtures can go ahead as planned with some fans present. Now, heading into the, into the season, uh, German clubs were allowed to bring back up to 20% of their fans if local health authorities approved their hygiene concepts and infection numbers remained um, below a seven-day incident of 35. Well, I've got Omar Akatugba joining live from Germany. Good to have you with us, Omar. Good morning. Great to be on Plus, Plus Sports. This morning. Yeah, good morning to you, Omar. How is it going over there? Well, it's cold. Uh, mm. We're in autumn, getting into real winter. Mm. And um, we're also getting into another lockdown as from Monday it begins. Everyone is preparing now, shopping in panic mm. as we all prepare for a new round of lockdown. So it's um, not a very good picture. People are not happy. Mm. But what can we do? We have to follow the instructions because at the end of the day, the government wants to contain this virus. And as we know, as the weather become, as the weather cools, the virus will become more contagious. So wow. it's a very precarious time for Europe in general, not only Germany. Very true. And talking about the German Bundesliga now, they'll be going back to play behind closed doors because of the second wave of the coronavirus pandemic. Now the players are beginning to enjoy the presence of the fans. Don't you think this will affect the mental stability of the clubs and players and of course everyone in Germany? Of course, it would affect, um, yes, it will affect their mindset. Uh, but in the end, it's the mental stability of the entire country that matters much more than that of a few set of, as Germans we call them, spoiled millionaires. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so um, it's for the safety of everyone. Mm. And I'm sure the players are aware, they understand. Uh, the football family, the football fraternity also is aware. And they also understand the fact that um, if the virus is dealt with or defeated, the entire or the whole fans can return to the stands and that brings life back to football. So I think they understand that they will be able to cope. The most important thing is that professional football will continue, which is a sign of good thing because people will want to enjoy football while on lockdown. Mm -hmm. Of course, Anything below professional football is not allowed. And in that case, all amateur sports will not be allowed. Gathering of people for the purpose of entertainment is not allowed. And amateur sports falls in that category because, I mean, of course, the definition of amateur means something that doesn't pay bills yeah. or that you don't get paid for. So the Bundesliga is huge business, huge employment, um, employer of labor. That's why they're going to allow it, just like some very critical businesses. So... I think it's quite understandable, and this is for the good of everyone at the end of the day. Mm, very true. Now, you know, they said this is supposed to start from the 2nd of November and to last for the rest of the month. But don't you think yes. uh, this is likely to go on um, to the end of the season? Well, it's still unclear how long this will go on for. Mm. Nobody knows. I mean, tentatively for a month and can be, you know, extended because yeah. the virus has a very difficult character. The virus is a very unpredictable virus. You yeah. don't know what to do. You don't know how to really deal with it. So mm. every measure that they're putting in place are all tentative as they find lasting solutions. So mm. from now to November ending, if things look better and they, then they can now relax the lockdown. But it has to do with the character of people. When yeah. you tell people to stay in their houses, not move too much, it's difficult for people to adhere to these rules. And that's why we have the virus, you know, spreading again and going into a second phase. Because yeah. people just went all, all out as though there was no virus in the first place. So yeah. this is why we are now back into a lockdown. And I hope that people can behave so mm -hmm. that they can deal with this virus. For example, if you have a coronavirus, two weeks maximum, you can be able to deal with it. So yeah. they're doing a normal lockdown to see how to be able to bend the curve. Mm. And if they're able to do that, then they can relax the lockdown in November, going into December, because that's a very important month in Europe. Yeah. Europeans don't joke with Christmas. Christmas for Europeans 
is absolutely important. I'm sure that's why it's set in December, and then we'll see what goes on from mm. there. True. And, uh, you know, let me put it on a lighter note now. I thought it was only in this part of the world that we had stubborn people. I didn't know we had um, them in that part of the world as well. People who still don't believe in the virus. <laughs> well, humans are naturally uh, difficult to handle. Mm. The difference between this part of the world and that part of the world is the enforcement of law. Mm. Do you understand? Um, I have been given fines so many times for wow. speed driving. That has never happened to me in Nigeria. And in Nigeria, I drove my worst driving in my entire life. <laughs> I never paid the fine. Wow. But in Europe, I have been dealt a major blow. The amount of money <laughs> I've paid for driving fine alone has run into 2,000 euros. That's about wow. 800,000 in Naira. Wow. Right now, when I'm driving my car, nobody tells me to abide by the rules <laughs> and regulations. So that's the difference between this part of the world and that part of the world, the enforcement of law. All right. Now, uh, talking, talking about the German Bundesliga, do you see a possibility of shutting down the league like it happened before earlier this year? Well, that is also possible. If the virus spreads around the clubs and, 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 and the Bundesliga, in such a way that it becomes appalling, it becomes uncontrollable. Of course, they will shut down the league. And that is exactly why those analyzing the league are making, you know, putting stringent measures to make sure that everyone involved in this very important business of football is composed, is organized, doesn't go out recklessly, doesn't mix up recklessly. And that's why you see that when players are seen in videos, partying or mixing up with people without, yeah. you know, without re restraint, they find them because mm. they need to be positive examples. If the government can give go ahead for football in a difficult times like this and close other very critical businesses, then those involved in football must be here. <laughs> those involved in football must carry themselves in good light in terms of not going out, not going to parties. Even if they do, they have to be absolutely discreet about it. Yeah. So I think that Another spread of the virus within football, of course, will lead to a complete shutdown of the game. And that the Bundesliga guys don't want to happen. Not even me, not even you, not even the average German. Who sure. will be in lockdown for another one month? The only thing or one of the few forms of entertainment or mm. forms of entertainment will be football. So they will not want that to be completely shut down. Mm. I also hope that everything turns out right uh, over there in Germany and, of course, for the rest of the world.